This video is for those who are having a hard time understanding the sound of each Korean alphabet. This is also directly linked to usual of lesson 2, so it will also help you study usual of lesson 2. Okay, let's start. This is the one page Ryan block summary you studied in lesson 2. We already told you that this is the only page you need to understand whole Korean writing blocks. You always write the initial consonant first, and then vowel in medial. When there is a compound vowel in medial, write the bottom one first, because it's on the left. And the final, when there are two consonants called consonant cluster in final, write the left one first. That's it. We learned how we pronounce consonants when they come as a final in a block. So the consonants in the group 1 can keep their initial sounds even though they come as a final. For example, the first consonant, kiok, sounds gu, gu, as an initial. And you can think it also sounds the same gu when it comes as a final. You know all this, right? And the consonants in the group 2 sound like English alphabet T or D when they come as a final in a block. Why D? Please check out the lesson 2 again. And the consonants in the group 3 are exceptions. Eung, the round consonant, sounds like English alphabet NG when it comes as a final in a block, like king, ring, or wing. And the last consonant, hit, which sounds hu as an initial, is a silence when it comes as a final. Maybe it's difficult to memorize all the initial sound of the consonants, but it's not that difficult to remember these group 1, 2, and 3. You know you should remember the initial sound of all the consonants at least. Then let's practice reading Korean letters. We hope you master how to read Korean after this video. Korean alphabet is not that difficult anyway. We strongly believe it won't take long for you to pick it up. Okay, the first word, Korea. How do we say Korea in Korean? Let us explain how this material is designed and how we go through this first. Check out the English first, Korea, and then check out the actual romanization on the right. Please, please do not focus too much on the romanization. It's not important at all. There are a couple of different romanization rules in Korea, so you will never be able to tell romanization that you are using is 100% correct. You know, Hangul is a phonogram, so you just need to remember the sound from the actual Korean alphabet. Romanization is just a reference to remember the sounds easy. Nothing more. And check out the other romanization on the right. It will help you spell the correct Korean alphabet. For example, if you see the romanized alphabet G here, you can use the consonant kiok, the gu sound, gu sound. You get it? Okay. And then we are going to see the words actually drawn in Hangul. And we are going to read it together. Okay. So, how we read this? The consonant hu comes first. Hu. And then vowel A ah is added. And then the final N sound like N in English is added. So it makes H, HA, HAN, HAN sound. Okay? Next letter. The first consonant G. And then the vowel U is added. U is added. And then again the final G. Is added. So, gu, ku, kuk, like g u g or g u k, kuk. It's piece of pie, right? Okay, we're going to go through this learning material like this to the end, and if you don't need this, you can move on to lesson 3. We have like 50 pages here, so we're gonna go through this a little bit quicker. Let's check out the next word school. Let's see the romanization on the right. H A K Hak G Y O Kyo. It's a two syllable word. And let's see the other romanization to help you spell correct. There is a G here, so you can tell the G sound is used as a final. Let's see how does it look like in Hangul. H sound comes first as an initial and ah vowel is added and then gu like g in english is added as a final 
So h, ha, hak, hak. And second letter starts with a g sound, and the vowel yo sound is added. K, kyo, kyo. Okay, hak kyo. School. Next word, table. Let's hear the sound first, checking out the romanization. Tak ja. And if you see the spelling romanization on the right, you can see G is used as a final of the first block, which means there will be G consonant there. So the first consonant is T, like T in English, and the vowel is A, and the final consonant is G again. T, ta, ta. And the first consonant of the second letter is J, sound like J in English, and the vowel is A again. So it's J, Cha, Cha, Tak Cha, table. Next word, kitchen. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Pu ok. You don't need the other romanization for Korean spelling. So the first consonant is b, like b in English, and the vowel is u. b, u, pu, pu, and the initial consonant of the second letter is u, the empty sound consonant, and the vowel is o. O, and the final consonant is k, like k in English. So it's u, o, ok, ok, pu ok, kitchen. Next word is Korean. It's actually a Korean writing system. Anyway, check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Hangul, hangul. You don't need a second romanization for Korean spelling. Do you want to find Korean alphabet equivalent to the romanization this time? Okay. Han. H A N. H is equivalent to the consonant hyut, which sounds h. H. A is equivalent to the vowel a. N is equivalent to the consonant nun, which sounds n. So it's h. Ha, han, han. What's the spelling of the romanization for the next letter? Gul. G e u l. G is a equivalent to the consonant kiok, which sounds g, g. And e u is a equivalent to the vowel u. But the problem is the sound that romanized alphabet e u has does not really match with the sound that the Korean Vowel u has. You have to memorize the sound of e u actually contains to match it with the Korean vowel u. That's why we don't recommend this because that doesn't make any sense. Why do you have to memorize the sound of both romanization and the actual Korean alphabet? Hope you got the point. And l is equivalent to the consonant liul, which sounds l, l. So k, kul, kul. Hangul. Next word is snow or I. It's an homonym. Same sound, different meaning. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Nun. Nun. One syllable word. You don't need the second romanization for spelling. So the first consonant is n, like n in English, and the vowel is u, and the final consonant is n. Like n in English again, so it's n, nu, nun, nun, snow or I. Next word is arm, the two long parts of your body that are attached to your shoulder and that have your hands at the end. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Pal, pal, one syllable word. 
you don't need a second romanization for spelling. So the first consonant is p, like p in English, and the vowel is a, and the final consonant is l, like r or l in English. So it's p, pa, pal, pal, um. Next word, walk. It's verb. It's basic form of the verb walk. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Kod, da, kod, da. It's a two-syllable word. There is a second romanization for Korean spelling. We can find d here, so we can see d sound is used as a final. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is g, like g in English, and the vowel is o, o. And the final consonant is d, like d in English, so it's g, ko, kot, kot. And the initial consonant of the next letter is also d, like d in English, and the vowel is a, so it's d, ta, kot, ta, kot, ta, walk. Next word is close as a verb. It's a basic form of the verb close. When you close something, such as door or lid, it moves so that a hole, gap, or an opening is covered. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Tatta, tatta. It's a two-syllable word. There is the second romanization for Korean spelling. We can find d in here in red, so you can see d sound is used as a final. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is d, like d in English, and the vowel is a. And the final consonant is d, like d in English again. So it's d, ta, tat, tat. And the initial consonant of the next letter is also d, like d in English, and the vowel is a. So it's ta, 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 ta. Next word, end. It's a noun. Please don't be bothered too much by the romanization. And let's hear the sound first. Good, good. The second romanization is not required. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is double consonant. Good. Gu, it's an emphatic sound of gu consonant. That's why there are two gu sound put together and make one consonant. Please remember the sound, gu, gu, and the vowel is u, u, and the final consonant is t, like t in English. So it's gu, gu, gut, gut. Good. Do you understand the sound? Good. Good. The end. Okay. Next word is heart or mind. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Ma um. Ma um. It's a two-syllable word. You can refer to someone's ma um when you are talking about their deep feelings, or you can. Refer to someone's ma um when you are talking about their thoughts. The second romanization for Korean spelling is not required here. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is m, like m in English, and the vowel is a, so it's m, a, ma, ma. And the initial consonant of the next letter is u, the empty sound consonant, and the vowel is u, u, and the final consonant is m, like m in English. So it's u, u, m, m, ma, m, ma, m. 
Next word is magazine or journal. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. 잡지, 잡지. If you see the second romanization, you can find B is used as the final of the first syllable. Therefore, you can see the consonant B will come as a final. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is J, like J in English, and the vowel is A. And the final consonant is B, like B in English, so it would sound like J, Cha, Chap, Chap. And the initial consonant of the next letter is J, like J in English again. And as we told you, the Romanized sound is just a reference, nothing more. And the vowel is E, so it would sound like J, 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 Chap, J, Chap, J, magazine or journal. Next word is front. It's a noun. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Up, up. We don't need the alternative romanization for Korean spelling here. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is ing, which is empty sound consonant, and the vowel is a, and the final consonant is p, like p in English. So it's u, a, up, up. This one was easy. Next word is road. We've seen this noun in lesson two already. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound though. Chat gil, chat gil. T was used as a final for the first block. Well, there's no point for us to see the alternative romanization for this word. We will tell you why shortly. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is ch, like ch sound in English, and the vowel is a. The final consonant of the first block is s. As an initial sound, like s in English, but the consonant s belongs to the group two in terms of the you know, final sound. Therefore, it sounds like a romanized alphabet t or d when it comes as a final in a block. So it would sound like ch, cha, chat, chat. Do you understand? It sounds like chat, and the initial consonant of the next letter is g. Like G in English, and the vowel is E, and the final consonant is L, like somewhere between R and L in English. So it would sound like G, K, Kil, Kil, Chat Kil, Chat Kil, Road. This is the tricky one. If you don't understand, please check out the lesson two again, or send us an email via our homepage. Next word is nap or midday nap. We already seen this noun in lesson two. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound. Nat jam, nat jam. We don't need an alternative romanization for Korean spelling. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is n, like n in English, and the vowel is a. The final consonant is j. As an initial sound, like J in English, but the consonant J belongs to the group two. Therefore, it sounds like Romanized alphabet T or D when it comes as a final sound. So it would sound like N, Na, Nat, Nat. And the initial consonant of the next letter is J, like J in English again. It's an initial of the block. Therefore, we will. Use the initial sound j, okay? And the vowel is a, and the final consonant is m, like m in English. So it's j, cha, cham, cham, nat jam, nat jam. Next word is flower. No need to see Romanized for this word. Just hear the sound. Good. Good. It sounds like the double consonant g has been used. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is g, 
ku, and the vowel is o, and the final consonant is chi, which sounds chu as an initial, but this consonant chu belongs to the group two, therefore it sounds like romanized alphabet T or D when it comes as a final in a block. So it would sound like ku, ko, kot. Good. Okay. Next word is rose. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound. Changmi. Changmi. We don't need an alternative romanization. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is j, like J in English. And the vowel is A. And the final consonant is ion, the round consonant which sounds like English alphabet NG. So it's ju, cha, chang, chang. And the initial consonant of the next letter is mu, like M in English. And the vowel is E. So it's mu, mi, mi, chang mi, chang mi, rose. The next word is good. It's an adjective. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Cho ta. Cho ta. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. This one is a little bit tricky, so listen carefully. The first consonant is ju, like j in English. And the vowel is o. And the final consonant is hi, which sounds hu as an initial, but this one is used as a final. As we learned, this consonant is a silence when it's used as a final, so you don't pronounce it. What is the initial consonant of the next letter? D, like D in English. As we explained in lesson 2, this D sound changes to T sound when it's mid-final H consonant in the formal block. You don't have to wrap your head, it's not that difficult, just remember that. So it looks like it should sound like cho ta, but it actually sounds cho ta, cho ta. Okay? Whenever we see something like this, we'll explain about it again, don't worry. You wanna see something similar? The meaning of this word is to give a birth to. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Na ta, na ta. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is n, like n in English, and the vowel is a. And the final consonant is h, which sounds h as an initial, but this one is used as a final. So this consonant is a silence, so you don't have to pronounce it. The next letter starts with a d, like d in English, but as we explained, this consonant changes its sound to t. So when it combines with the vowel a, ah, it sounds like ta. So it's na ta, na ta. Okay? But don't worry, we don't really use the basic form of the verb or adjective in a real life conversation. Let's move on. Next word is shopping. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Sho ping. This is the word that borrows its sound directly from English. Maybe it sounds nothing like English to some people. I don't know, but anyway, we don't need a alternative romanization. And let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is S, like S in English. And the vowel is Yo. So it's S, Yo, Sho, Sho. And the initial consonant of the next letter is P, like P in English. And the vowel is E. And the final consonant is E, the round consonant, which sounds like English alphabet NG. So it's P, P, Ping, Shopping, Shopping. Next word is Taxi. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound. Taxi. Taxi. This is also the word that borrows its sound directly from English. There is alternative romanization on the right. 
you can see that G is used as a final of the first syllable. So you can see that constant G will come as a final. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is T, like T in English. And the vowel is E. E. You already know this vowel sounds E, don't you? Okay. And the final consonant is G, like G in English. So it's T, 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 T. And the initial consonant of the next letter is S, like S in English. And the vowel is E. So it's S, E, S, S, T, S, T, S. Very good. The next word is dog. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. K, K. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is G, like G in English, and the vowel is E, E. So it's K, E, K, K. A dog, K. Next word is a crab. That thing lives in the sea and walks sideways. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. K, K. It sounds very, very similar to a dog, right? Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The first consonant is G, like G in English. And the vowel is E, E. So it's K, E, K, K. It will take a while you distinguish the sound between a dog and a crab. But just for now, you can think it's exactly the same. Next word. Whoa. What is this? It looks very complicated. But don't worry, you can read it. This word means a plan. Check out the romanization, but I don't think you can find out the correct sound from this romanization. So just hear the sound first. 계획. 계획. There is the alternative romanization. You can find red G in the second syllable. So you know that there will be G sound as a final in the second block. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The initial consonant is G, like G in English. And the vowel is ye. Ye. It's not E. It's ye, like yes. So G. Ye. K. K. Do you understand the sound? K. The initial of the next letter is H like H in English, and the vowel is WE, WE. Please take a look at the study tip on the right. This vowel WE is compound of O and E, but unlike the rest of the compound vowels, this one doesn't make the correct sound even though we spit out the two vowels faster, like OI, OI. But it actually sounds like O plus E, O E, WE. We. Got it? U plus E also makes similar sound. We. We. But no need to think about it. Just this O plus E sound like O plus E. We. It's an exception. We already learned about it in lesson 1. So the vowel in the second block sounds We. We. Okay? And the final is G. Like G. In English, so it's h, 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 k, h, k, h, plan. The next word is fruit. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Kwa il, kwa il. There is no alternative romanization. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The initial consonant is G, like G in English. It seems we use this consonant a lot. And the vowel is compound vowel, WA. It's O plus A, WA, WA. You get the sound? WA. So it's G plus WA, QUA, QUA. 
The initial of the next letter is ium, the round consonant which has no sound actually. And the vowel is e. And the final consonant is l, like somewhere between r and l. U, e, il, il, qua il, qua il, fruit. Whoa, this one has three letters. Getting exciting, isn't it? I know it's a bit boring, but you can get out of this as soon as you can read Hangul perfect. This word means foreigner. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. 외국인, 외국인. Let's check out the alternative romanization on the right. You can see one red G in the second syllable. So you know there will be gu sound as a final in the second block. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The initial consonant is iung, the round consonant which has no sound actually. And the vowel is we, we again. The initial consonant doesn't have any sound. Therefore, this letter sounds exactly the same as the vowel does. We, we. And the initial of the second block is g, like g in English. And the vowel is u. And the final consonant is g, like g in English again. So it's g, u, ku, kuk, kuk. And the initial of the last block is iun, the round consonant which doesn't have any sound actually. And the vowel is e. And the final consonant is n, like n in English. So it's e, in, in, wegug in, wegugin. So I guess you are all wegugin. The next word is authority. It's kind of big word to you now, no? Don't worry, just check if you can read it. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Kwan han. Kwan han. There's no alternative romanization. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The initial consonant is g, like g in English. And the vowel is compound vowel, wo. Wo. It's u plus o. Wo. Wo. You get the sound? Wo. And the final consonant is n, like n in English. So, g, kwa, kwan, kwan. The initial of the next letter is h, like h in English. And the vowel is a. And the final consonant is n, like n in English. So, it's h, ha. Han, han, kwan han, kwan han, authority. Okay, what do we have here? Wedding. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. We, ding, wedding. We can see this word borrows its sound directly from English. There is another Korean word for wedding, but maybe later. There is no alternative romanization. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The initial consonant is iung, the round consonant which doesn't have any sound actually, and the vowel is compound vowel we, we. It's u plus e, we, we. You get the sound, we. So it's u, we, we. The initial consonant of the next letter is d, like d in English. And the vowel is e, and the final consonant is iung again, which sounds English alphabet ng when it comes as a final of the block. So it's d, d, ding, ding, wedding, wedding. The next word is ghost. Check out the romanization and let's hear the sound first. Qui. Shin, Kishin. There is no alternative romanization. Then let's check out the Korean spelling. The initial consonant is g, like g in English, and the vowel is compound vowel we, we. It's u plus e, we, we. Okay, so it's g, 
วีคีคี and the initial consonant of the next letter is s like s in English and the vowel is e and the final consonant is n like n in English so it's s ชีชินชินคีชินคีชิน ghost we are almost there the next word is doctor check out the romanization but it's almost impossible to know the exact sound from the romanization so let's just hear the sound first อุยซาอุยซา then let's check out the Korean spelling the initial consonant is Yun, the round consonant which doesn't have any sound, and the vowel is compound vowel, u, u. It's u plus e, so u e, u. The consonant doesn't have any sound, therefore this letter is supposed to make the same sound as the vowel does. So it's u, e, u, u. And the initial consonant of the next letter is s, like s in English, and the vowel is a, so it's s, sa, sa, uisa, uisa, doctor. This is an interrogative why. How do we say why in Korean? Where, where. The first consonant is i, the round consonant which doesn't have any sound. And the vowel is the compound vowel w, w. It's o plus e, o e, w. The consonant doesn't have any sound, therefore it will make the same sound as the vowel does, w, w. The next word is a phagent. The first consonant is a double consonant g, g. The emphatic sound of g, and the vowel is a compound vowel w. w, u plus a, u, w, and the final consonant is i, the round consonant which sounds like English alphabet n g when it's used as a final. So it's g, 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 g. The next word is chicken. This word has a consonant cluster as a final, so we need to take a closer look at it. Let's hear the sound first. Tak, tak. It sounds like it has a d sound as an initial and a vowel as a medial, and g or k sound as a final. But actually, it has l and g consonant together in the final. Strange, isn't it? This is a consonant cluster. There's no way to explain it. It's just all about spelling, so you need to memorize them all. But don't worry, we, no need to be stressed out. Just you need to know that even though there are two consonants in the final, you always pronounce one of them only. This time you only pronounce the second consonant g sound. So it's d, ta, tak, tak. L consonant is a silence here. The next word is sit. This verb also has a consonant cluster as a final. Please do not see the romanization. Just check out the sound. Anta, anta. Then let's check out the actual spelling. The initial consonant of the first block is i, the empty sound consonant, and the vowel is a, and the final consonant is a consonant cluster. So n. Consonant which sounds like n in English, and j, consonant which sounds like j in English, come together. But strangely, only the first consonant n makes the sound, and the second consonant j seems like a silence here. So it sounds u, a, an, an. Okay. When you spell chicken in Korean, you pronounce the second consonant of the consonant cluster, but this time you pronounce the first consonant of the consonant cluster. I guess when the word is a verb, you pronounce the first consonant only. Just remember that you never pronounce both of the consonants in a consonant cluster. That's it. Let's take a look at this page. We're gonna learn about this in lesson three again, though. 
When there is a yun, the empty consonant in the letter block, it always takes the sound of the final in the formal block. So when there is a consonant cluster, it takes the sound of the second consonant of the consonant cluster, because it's closer to the letter block. Plus, the first consonant of the consonant cluster has to be used to make sound of the formal block, so it cannot be taken. Okay, I think that's enough for now. I don't want to make you wrap your head again. Let's move on. This video is just about to finish. Let's take a look at some simple phrases that you can find everywhere. Thank you. 고맙습니다. 그, 고, 무, 마, 맙, 스, 스, 습, 느, 니, 드, 다. 고맙습니다. There's another thank you. 감사합니다. 그, 가, 감, 스, 사, 흐, 하, 합, 느, 니, 드, 다. 감사합니다. You can say thank you using the other honorific suffix yo. It sounds less formal. Thank you. 고마워요. 그, 오, 고, 무, 마, 으, 워, 으, 요. And there's another thank you. 감사해요. 그, 가, 감, 스, 사, 흐, 해, 으, 요. 감사해요. How do we say sorry in Korea? With the honorific suffix 니다. 죄송합니다. 즈, 외, 죄, 스, 소, 송, 흐, 하, 합, 느, 니, 드, 다. With the honorific suffix 요, 죄송해요. 죄송해요. 즈, 죄, 스, 소, 송, 흐, 해, 으, 요. There's another story in Korean with the unearthly suffix 니다. 미안합니다. 무, 미, 으, 아, 안, 흐, 하, 합. 느, 니, 드, 다. With the unearthly suffix 요. 미안해요. 미안해요. 무, 미, 으, 아, 안, 흐, 해, 으, 요. 미안해요. Last but not least, how do you say yes in Korean in an unearthly form? 네. 네. How about no? 아니요? 아니요? So, actually, 네 sounds like no, but it's actually yes in Korean. 네. Okay, this is the end of lesson two and a half. It must have been boring lesson for you. Hope you all master reading Hangul with this lesson though. See you in lesson three then. Bye.